At Humana, when you tell us what you need and want, we hear you. And we offer plans that could help make your best health happen. To help you find the right plan for you, we'll begin with an overview of what Medicare is. Medicare is a health insurance program run by the federal government. It has four parts. Part A, which covers hospital stays. Part B, which covers medical needs like doctor visits. Part C, which combines Part A and B, plus it could give you other benefits. And finally, Part D, which covers most prescription drugs. Together, Part A and Part B are called Original Medicare. Step one is to first enroll in Original Medicare, offered by the federal government. Step two is to explore if you need additional coverage and if enrolling in a plan through a private company makes sense. You have a few options here. You could choose a Part C plan. These are also called Medicare Advantage plans. A Medicare Advantage plan includes all the benefits and coverage of original Medicare. Our Medicare Advantage plans give you extra benefits, and some even include Part D drug coverage. You could also choose to add one or both of these options to original Medicare. A standalone prescription drug plan, also called a PDP, which gives you Part D coverage, or a Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan to help pay for any out-of-pocket costs you may have with Original Medicare. Now that you know what Medicare is, let's cover when you can enroll. You may have few opportunities throughout the year. The first is your Initial Enrollment Period, or IEP. This date is a little different for everyone because it depends on when you turn 65. If you're enrolling in Medicare for the first time, you can enroll up to three months before and three months after your 65th birthday month. During this time, you may enroll in Part A, Part B, or both. You may also choose to enroll in Part C or Part D. Although you are not required to enroll in Part D, you could face a late enrollment penalty if you don't enroll when you first become eligible. This penalty will happen if you go 63 days or more without prescription drug coverage after you're eligible. You may pay an extra 1% of the average monthly premium for each month you delay enrollment. You can avoid the penalty with prescription drug coverage through Medicare, or you can avoid it with creditable prescription drug coverage that is expected to pay at least as much as Medicare's standard prescription drug coverage, such as an insurance plan from your employer or VA healthcare coverage. After your initial enrollment period, the next important enrollment period starts on October 15th. This kicks off the Annual Election Period, or AEP. From October 15th to December 7th, you can enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan with or without prescription drug coverage, or you can enroll in a standalone prescription drug plan. Another enrollment period is available from January 1st through March 31st. This is called the Open Enrollment Period, or OEP. During this time, you can make a one-time change, like enrolling in a new Medicare Advantage plan or returning to original Medicare. And finally, note that there are life events that may qualify you for a Special Enrollment Period, or SEP. These are times outside the other enrollment periods where someone can enroll in, drop, or change their plan, depending on their eligibility and the SEP. Now, we're going to explore one type of plan a little more closely, standalone prescription drug plans, or PDPs. Let's dive into exactly what a PDP is. PDPs are often called standalone prescription drug plans because their Part D coverage stands alone as its own type of plan. To get Part D coverage through a standalone prescription drug plan, you could add it to Original Medicare, or you could add it to a private fee-for-service or PFFS, Medicare Advantage plan. You could also choose to get Part D coverage from a Medicare Advantage Prescription Drug Plan, or MAPD, which combines Parts A, B, C, and D. Most people are eligible to enroll in Part D as soon as they're eligible for Parts A and B. Remember, if you don't enroll in Part D coverage when you're able to, you may be subject to a penalty. If you choose a Humana Prescription Drug Plan, we offer three options. There's the Humana Walmart Value RX plan. This plan is great for those who primarily use generics and want a lower premium. 
It has a large network of preferred cost-sharing retail pharmacies, including many supermarkets and mail-order pharmacies. It's designed to keep costs consistent and predictable. Then, there's the Humana Premier RX plan, our most comprehensive PDP option. It offers coverage for over 3,700 drugs. Finally, there's the Humana Basic RX plan. It offers competitive premiums and competitive deductibles and co-pays at many cost-sharing retail pharmacies. This is a good option for those who qualify for extra help, which we'll cover in greater detail in just a moment. Every PDP comes with its own drug list to give you a sense of your medicine costs. Prescription drugs are organized into tiers according to cost, with tier one typically being the lowest cost and tier five being the highest. On all of our PDPs, you may pay a lower cost using our network pharmacies with preferred cost sharing. And for all of these plans, Centerwall Pharmacy is the preferred cost sharing mail order pharmacy. If you're considering a plan that includes prescription drug coverage, there are a few important things to know. First, most of these plans have a coverage gap. It's a time when you pay part of your drug costs before additional prescription drug coverage kicks in. If you think you may need help paying for your prescriptions, ask your sales agent about extra help or the low income subsidy program. It's a government program to help people who qualify pay for their prescription drug costs. It's also good to know that some prescriptions require step therapy. It means that even if a medication you take is included on your plan's drug list, you may need to try certain drugs first before moving to a more expensive drug. And lastly, prior authorization. It's a type of approval your doctor is required to get from your plan so they can prescribe certain medicines. As you get ready to enroll, your sales agent will go over a few important documents. For example, they'll review the drug list for your plan, your plan's summary of benefits, and information on star ratings. Those are ratings from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, which evaluates certain Medicare plans based on real members' experiences. Let your agent know if you'd like more information. If you sign up for a Humana plan, we'll send your ID card in the mail. You can choose to receive other plan documents online through a secure digital account at My Humana. All you'll have to do is share your email address, which authorizes us to digitally share health information with you. Just be sure to let us know if your email address changes so we can ensure you get the information you need. You'll complete a health risk assessment by phone or online if you've chosen our online option. This is to see if you qualify for any special health programs and be sure to attend a member orientation. Humana believes better care begins with listening. That's why your licensed sales agent is here to get to know you, your healthcare needs, your current medications, your health goals, and more. They'll review the plan's pharmacy network, as well as plan premiums, cost for prescription coverage, and benefits. Most of all, your agent is here to help you find the right plan for you. At Humana, we'll keep bringing you the care you need and want, because if it matters to you, it matters to us.